There are no leads yet in what police are calling a frizzy and puzzling murder. Yesterday, local man Patrick Mullins was found dead in his apartment at 1012 West Cherry Street. The door was locked from the inside and there were no signs of a forced entry. The gruesome scene, however, leaves no doubt this was a homicide. No warrants have been issued, but police have already questioned most of the deceased's friends and family. Firefighters were called late last night to extinguish a burning farmhouse. Today, in the remains of the house, which features prominently in local ghost stories, workers unearthed what appear to be human remains. None of the bodies have been positively identified yet. Also found on the property was a strip, abandoned car that may or may not be connected to the Gallons of blood were discovered in room 115 at the Dunwick Motel early this morning. However, according to local authorities, there were no bodies found at the scene where police are still awaiting results from a blood analysis test. Due to the inexperience of the forensic team, the investigation of this grisly affair has potentially been jeopardized. There are already claims that the crime scene was compromised, but in the meantime, investigators... Two women, Katrina Molded and Sarah Townsend, have both been missing since October 23rd. Believed to have been taken by force from Miss Molden's apartment, police are uncertain of their whereabouts. The authorities feel there may be a connection between the disappearances and the September murder of Patrick Mullins, with nothing to go on but some unidentified fingerprints. No one can be certain of their fate. I'll come back.